Fire. Fire God. Cousin Sandra Pernier Gatlin, Roman Rapids, North Carolina. Fire. We're still on the battlefield. Everything you're getting is real here. Jasmine Lockham, still on the battlefield. Come on. By fire. Periscope, Sandra on Facebook. Come on, Facebook, Periscope. Let's go. Come on. Who taught her? Hallelujah. Natalie Bell. Come on. Cornelius Galashaw. Fire. Fire, Natalie. Wesley Thorpe. Fire. We're still on the battlefield. Come on, soldiers. Come on, soldiers. Let's go, soldiers. Anna Kaduli. Fire. Come on. Come on. We're still on the battlefield. The fight is not over. We fight till we win. Good morning to you, Thorpe. Cornelius, good morning. Ready to war and worship. Ready to war and worship. That's it. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Natalie Bell. You ready? Ready to fight. The battle is not over. In the name of Jesus, we battle until the battle, until we win. By fire this morning. We got to kill this enemy by fire. The kingdom of God in the earth is under attack by demonic forces. Alice Rubio, God bless you, soldier. We fight. Come on, Annabelle said, <laughs> Natalie Bell said, good. That's right. It's good that we do what we do. God is with us, and we're ready to fight. We're ready to war. He's already told me where to war from. He already told me. Come on, Russell. God bless you, Russell Douglas Husson in Los Angeles. We got a war. I got to tell you something, too, about those fires. I said happy birthday to your sister Lisa today. It's your sister's birthday today, huh? It's her special day. I've already sent the happy birthday to her this morning. Come on, y'all. It's all good. It's all good. Listen to me. I want you to know that on this call, we're in the spirit realm. We're dealing with, with spiritual powers from the pit of hell. And we're going to deal with them with spiritual power from on high to destroy whatever they've got going on. We're going to destroy the works of the enemy in Jesus' name. Good day. Good day, y'all. Alice, Alice got the double barrel, y'all. Alice Hernandez Rubio got the double barrel. Periscope and Facebook. Men say, Effie, God bless you by fire. God bless it. Alice said, amen. We're ready. We're ready. Now get this. As we get ready to go into the battlefield, Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise, I give you honor, and I give you all of the glory. Nobody but you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's two things I want to war first against first, God. Two things. In the name of Jesus, come on, Vince, and that pain, Facebook, they messing me, they better ask somebody. Come on here. That's right. They better recognize Soldier, Alex. Tell them all the time. They better recognize Oh, Sister Pearlene Fleming Danner on here from Ronan Rapids, North Carolina. Pearlene, come on on here. Because we're dealing with, with serious warfare right now, Pearlene. We are warned because the kingdom of, of God, kingdom of heaven, has suffered a lot of violence, especially at this time of year. Suicide is up in the month of December. People are stressed out because it's Christmas time. People are running back and forth, spending money that they don't have. Then they go into debt in the first part of 2018. People are lonely. People are drinking more, drugging more. It's a whole lot of stuff going on. Do you understand me? In, the, in this month of December, we're supposed to be the season, Jesus, the birth of Jesus. We've turned it around, and it's a natural thing, and it's, and it's demons from hell are invading families and households and messing people up. Come on, Hillary Baker Hogan. Come on from vast North Carolina. So we got a war, y'all. And I'm telling you something. It's in my spirit. Oh, there it is. Pretty said, good morning. Yes, we need the prayers. Yes, we need the prayers and we need the warfare. The prayers and the warfare, hand in hand. Now, here we go. Here we go. Are y'all ready? Father, 
I'm ready. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mention this first. Before I throw out this word, there are a lot of children of God who are feeling discomfort in their body some way, somehow. Your body is under demonic attack. There are many people who are sick up in their body and they know the Lord. There are so much that the devil has spread infections like nobody's business. Uh, there are people right now who are dealing with chemotherapy and radiation right here at Christmas time. Y'all better come on up in here. Whoa, that's right. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of people of God who, who, who are bedridden right now. There are a lot of people of God. There are a lot of preachers right now who, who, who feel like they are in a deep, um, their body is, is in fatigue. There's a fatigue demon. They're tired. Come on, Pearlene. Come on, Pearlene. There are a lot of us that feel like we are like, 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 like overworked, overtasked. Our bodies are shutting down and we're moving slow. And, and I'm telling you, God told me that's an attack from the enemy. He's trying to slow your roll. You know what I mean by that? The demons are trying to slow our roll, trying to slow us down so that we won't be able to fast pace, hit hard, fast pace. People got problems in their backs. A lot of saints I see have back problems. A lot of them. hip problems, knee problems. He's hitting us in our joints, in our bones, in our vertebrae. My God, that's why God said, I'm going to send fire down from heaven into your bones. Because he know that the enemy will come out of our bones. So there are people right now, their, their fingers, oh my, you are on it this morning. Come on, Van Annette Payne. She said, oh my, you are on it this morning. God gave it to me, revealed this, this, he revealed this part of the battle to me this morning. He said that, that our bones are under attack. Our joints are under attack. We were, we were able to lay down with no problem. Able to jump up with no problem. Able to walk with no problem. Run with no problem. Exercise with no problem. Whatever. Drive a car with no problem. Go to work. And now all of a sudden, everything, everything is tightening. Uh, we are uh, uh, we're walking around like you're 100 years old. And you're just in your 40s and your 50s and your 60s and your 70s. You're just in your 30s. And you walking slow and feeling this joint and that joint, swelling coming in, all types of stuff. So first of all, he said, we got to take care of going into the spirit realm to get our bodies healed, to get our bones healed. He said, will these bones live? Devil know about our bones. He know my knees and joints have slowed me down. Please continue to send the fire. Look at that. This woman has been a fireman for years, a fireman for years. And she is now being attacked. She's a young woman being attacked in her knees and in her bones have slowed her down. In the name of Cornelius, constant pain and affliction brings a spirit of discouragement. It does. It slows you down from a lot of things. Guess what it does? God told me it slows your serving God down. It slows your 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 uh your family life down. It slows your your career life down. It slows your ministry down. It slows you down, and it's got you laying down more than you want to. But you're trying to lay down, thinking that the rest. I got laid down one day. You lay down. Then you lay down all day. The second day. Then you lay down another day, and you're still not there yet. That's because it's spiritual. Y'all ready? Let's get this thing out of our bones. Come on, Elder Edward Gregory Sr. Come on, man. Come on, Elder from Manson, North Carolina, by way of Rona Rapids. Let's get this thing out. Let's go into our bones. This is this battle we're getting ready to do now is for the bone. Let me send the word out first. Let me send the word out first. In the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 9:15. So I turned and came down from the mount and the mount burned with fire and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. Moses came down from the mount mm, 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 burning with fire. 
with the two tables in his hands. There, look at that. Inflammation. Inflammation comes from hell. Inflammation is burning from hell. Lots of people got inflammation. Everything is in our body that come. Come on, Alice said Hebrew 4.12. Keep praying and believing in God. His faith and true to his word of promise. Yes, Pearlene. In the name of Jesus. Fire to our bones right now. Father God, right now, we release the fire of God into our bone. Evangelist May Allen. Come on from Garrisburg, North Carolina. First Baptist of Weldon. Fire in our bones right now to heal us. Fire. Refreshing spring. Come on here. Kajik, India. India is on here with us. Come on, refreshing spring. Come on, Bishop. Father. Fire of God right now. Fire of God. Can you say, I feel the anointing of the fire. Come on. Come on. Fire of God. Fire. Come on. Come on, Sister Stella, y'all. From Brooklyn Union Baptist Church, D.C. Fire of God into our bones. Every part of the bone. Come on, going to the knees right now. I'm going straight to the knees. Devil, you can no longer take our knees. You can no longer have us replacing our knees. Every time I turn around, our people are getting knee replacement. You lying dog. There's a lot of church people with knee replacements. There are some scheduled to have their knee replaced in the first of the year. There are some right now who already had one knee replaced and now five years later, 10 years later, now they got to go back into the same knee again. There's another one that's got one knee replacement and now they got to have another one. Then there's another person that got to have both of them done at the same time. Devil, you a liar. Come on, honeybee. Come on, honeybee on Periscope. You a liar. Fire, fire. Come on, Constance. Come on, Constance. Come on, Constance. Fire into all the knees. Fire into the kneecaps right now. I bind and rebuke every kneecap hunting devil from the pit of hell. You got demons from hell. Their assignment, uh, their assignments are only kneecaps. Coming up years ago in Ronald Rapids, North Carolina, all the senior citizens that walked around Ronald Rapids had their own knees. Nobody was getting a new kneecap. None of them. I saw them in their 80s. I saw them in their 90s. Living next door to me. Living on my street. Living on the next street. Saw them in First Baptist and Ronald Rapids. And they had their own knees. Now all of a sudden. Now. In the 21st century. In the 2000s. Now. Everywhere I turn. This demon is so prevalent in the earth. That they got commercials on TV. Come let us cut your kneecap out. Soldier, you need your knees. You seek the Lord course in the You need your knees. You need them. You need your knees. So find to your need to protect your knees. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how old you live to. You will never, ever have to get a replacement of your kneecap. You got all of these saints barely walking because of their knees. I got people, come on, Mr. Mr. Diane Fingers on Periscope. I got people coming in with their knees swelling up. That big. That's a demon from uh oh, oh look at that Stella Young's. My knee is swollen right now. God did this today. As he do all of them. Your knee is swollen right now. If I be a prophet, if I be a man of God, I believe in no surgery. Or we're getting, we're getting supernatural surgery. We're getting supernatural surgery right now. She said, mine are stiff. And her knees are stiff. God. And these are people who love Jesus. These are soldiers of the most high God. Her knees are stiff. She played the violin for Jesus all up in heaven's best. I believe in no surgery. My knee is swollen right now. In the name of Jesus, you don't want to wake up and have to deal with knee issues. You've got work to do, places to go, people to see, things to do for God. Fire! That's it, Mr. Finger. Fire to the knees. If I be a man of God, like the prophet Elijah, then I call down fire. My God. My God. I call down fire. 
I call down fire from heaven. Uh, the prophet Isaiah, I call down fire. Call down fire, call down fire. And to your knees to lick out every liquid that will cause it to swell. I come into every joint ooh, by fire, into every ligament, every tendon, every tissue, every nerve. By the fire of God. Ela babo ko se la babo se ta baba. Ela babo ko se la babo sha baba. Ela babo ko se la babo sha. Ela babo sha babo sha. Deuteronomy 32, 22. For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. We set on fire all demonic power that's come to mess with our bones and our joints. Arthritis demons, uh, arthritis devils, my God, my God, author paralysis, fire, 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 fire. Every name they have for a disease, for lameness. You know, there, 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 there are people who are lame and halt. We send fire for the halt, fire for the lame. They got all these diseases to halt our bodies, to lame our legs. You are lying devil, you, in the name of Jesus, fire to destroy lame and haltness. Fire to destroy paralysis. Palsy devils are still walking the earth. Palsy devils are still going back and forth. Where he said, he said, my servant lied at home, sick of the palsy. But he didn't say just that he's just sick of the palsy. He said, and grievously tormented it's a torment from the pit of hell when James and John saw that they said to Jesus Lord she be called down fire from heaven to burn them up yes he did why because because men of God had done it before and we still can call down fire from heaven to burn it up we still God allow us to call down fire to burn it up so we call on fire to burn these demons up in the name of the fire 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 I bind up by fire and I cast out Every thief that will try to steal our, our bones and our activity of our knees, activity of our extremities and our limbs, our binding up for trying to kill our body in the name of trying to kill the activity of our limbs. In the name of Jesus, I bind you up in the name of Jesus that will try to destroy our energy, that will try to destroy, my God, my God, our activity, our walking, our going to and fro. In the name of Jesus, I call down fire right now into your shoulder. I got people come to me. Um, I had a man came to my church. He couldn't even raise his arm. He was from he was from Korea. He was from Korea, and he heard about heaven's best, the miracles in heaven's best. He was from Korea. He couldn't even hadn't been able to lift his arm in three months. In three months, he could not lift his arm. He had all types of shots put in it, all types of bad uh, 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 Raps and everything, nothing worked for him. And it came to heaven's bed. I didn't even lay hands on him. I didn't even lay hands on him. We just went into warfare. We went into the power of God, released the word of God, and all of a sudden he jumped up and he started doing this with his arm. He said, My God, he was healed right where he was sitting in the church. Why? Because the power of God is real. And the shoulder, anybody's shoulder, Evangelist Violin Gregory. Elder L, your mama showed us, she said. The lobby was shoulder problems. Fire. Eventually, Denise Cole used to have a serious shoulder problem where she couldn't lift her arm sometimes. And she's a preacher. So I'm telling you, y'all, soldiers, ministers, preachers, pastors, psalmists, missionaries, worshipers, witnesses, saved people, righteous people, upright people. Jesus disciples, Jesus lovers, bodies are under attack like nobody's business. Fire your God right now. Fire your God. I bind and cast out every demon that would try to stiffen your body in any way. I curse swelling in your body. I curse every arrow, every fiery dot from hell into your kneecap, into your hip. My cousin. My cousin, my first cousin, Troy Haley. College degree, working in school since for years, good guy. Guess what? He's had two hips replaced. My God, he's only in his 70s. Fire of God in the name of Jesus. You're lying dog from the pit of hell? Fire. 
Hell of a bush, hell of a bush. God told me to tell you right now, some of your problems are from witches. Yeah, I said it. I said some of your problems are from witches. Some of your problems are from root doctors. Some of your problems are from voodoo. Some of your problems are from black magic. You better hear me. God told me. Put it in my spirit. Come on, Nelson Miata. Some of y'all got some enemies that have gone to a witch. Some of y'all have made enemies that and they're witches and warlocks themselves. All because you serve the Lord. All because of who you are. Because they want something that they can't get because God using you to block them. But there are some, uh, some things. Let me tell you something right now. If you got a relative in the hospital and you run into a witch in the hospital and you don't know she's a witch and she's a nurse or working with your relative or your loved one and you don't like the treatment that your loved one to get you get in an argument with that witch you don't even know that witch and then you leave the hospital and that witch now is angry with you because you complain to the doctors about her she gonna send something to you you don't even know it it's real it's real so come on right now any Thing in your bone from a, from voodoo, anything from your in your tendons in your in your legs, anything to 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 zap you of your energy by root doctors, voodoo, witches, divinators, whatever. We got to break the curse. If there is any curse trying to hang on to you, you disciple of Jesus Christ, we are gonna break it right now by the power of God. Some of you right now don't even know why you're depressed. A witch did it. You don't even know why you angry. A witch did it. You got no reason to be angry. You got no reason. Come on, the cold gory. Some of you right now, your mind is not on all cylinders. You're not on top of your game. Why? Because a witch is um, hindering you. Some voodoo magic crap from hell. It's messing with you and you don't even know it. Especially when some people are in apartment buildings in the city. You know how you get an apartment building? And you don't know. You got witches live all over your apartment building doing all kind of crap in their apartments, making all types of potions, making all types of incantations, and you live in the same building with them. Happens all the time. You got people with false gods. You got people who 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 are Satan worshippers work on your job. They know you are 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 a disciple. They know you say, and guess what they say? They go home and say, I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try and see if their God is greater than my God. You don't even know it. You cannot be ignorant of Satan's devices. You cannot be spiritually ignorant. You cannot be someone who's so spiritually naive that you think that that's impossible. Let me tell you something right now. Happens every day of the week, seven days a week, all over the world. So in the name of Jesus, come on, Ashley Matthews. So in the name of Jesus, we're going to destroy right now all powers of darkness that have come to you to mess with your body, to bring sickness into you or a loved one, to bring sickness, come on, come on, Mr. Brian, to bring sickness into your body, into your muscles, into your tendons, into your ligaments. My God, my God, my God, my God, into your joints, into your bones. And we're going to destroy it right now in Jesus' name right now. You ready? You ready? You ready? Hold on. First, let me throw out this word. Are you ready? Deuteronomy 18.10. There shall not be found among you anyone that make it his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that use it divination or, or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. Fire of God. Come on, Pastor Lorraine Jenkins. Fire of God. Fire of God. Any witchcraft spirits been working against your ministry? Any witches been working against your body? In the name of Jesus, we fire to burn that curse off of you, to burn all the incantations, every word, every witch, every voodoo word that was spoken over you in secret. We expose it and we kill it right now in the name of Jesus. Every item of your body, every item of your life that they confiscated and used a picture or button, or clothing, or whatever, lock of your hair, or whatever. Let me tell you something right now. This is real. This is real. They can get a, a, a cup with your saliva on it, whatever they're trying to do, and 
to work witchcraft against you in the name of Jesus. I shut them down by the power of God and I shut them out of your body. I shut them out of your limbs. I shut them out of your joints. I shut them out of your head in the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 fire. Fire. I don't care how long it's been there. Fire gone. I don't care who did it. Fire gone in the name of Jesus. Can't do it anymore. Fire God to block it. Fire God to block your bone. Fire God to block your muscle. Block your nerves. Block your mind in the name of Jesus. God told me to tell you when I had you in Psalm 25, 1 yesterday, lifting up your soul unto the Lord. Your soul are made out of four things. Number one, your soul contains your mind. Your soul contains your emotions slash your feelings. Third, your soul contains your will. Fourth, your soul contains your intellect. If a demon can get a hold of your soul and he's warning against our soul, uh, we need protection soldiers on our soul in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, as we shut them down right now in the mighty name of Jesus, fire into your soul. Fire into your soul right now in the name of Jesus. Every demon is undetected. Fire on them right now in the name of Jesus. I cast out every demon that will try to come into your life. Any demon that try to come into your life, we block them by fire right now in the name of Jesus. And every demon that's already sneaked into your life, fire God, go in the name of Jesus. They got to go right now. They can't stay in the name of Jesus. They can't stay in the name of Jesus. I don't care how they came in. In the name of Jesus, gone by the fire of God. Your body got to be energized. You're too young to be so tired. You're too young to be tired all the time. You're too young to just think you're fatigued, thinking that it's something you eating or something you're not eating. Maybe I'm drinking too many much juice. I'm drinking too much. I'm drinking too many sodas. I shouldn't be eating too much of this. And maybe I'm eating the wrong food. Maybe I need to change my diet. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's got something to do with a demon from hell. Trying to zap you of all of your strength. You think a, a demon don't want to zap you of all of your energy so you can feel like your physical weakling and you won't be able to war good warfare? We're in the name of Jesus. We come against, come on, Mr. Brian Benjamin, and we come against every demon from hell that's coming against your energy, coming again, trying to zap you of your strength by the power of God, fire of God into your body, a supernatural booster, a supernatural energy, supernatural lifting in your body. Come on, Tiffany. Tiffany Johnson. Come on here, cousin. Come on here, cousin. Tiffany Johnson. We send him, we send him fire into your bones, fire into your muscles, fire into your back, every tissue. If you think that you don't have enough energy and you feel that you are now struggling with energy, no matter how many hours you sleep, you still seem to be tired. No matter how many naps you take, you still seem to be tired. No matter how early you go to bed, something is wrong. You're moving slow in your body. Your back ache, this ache, that ache. You're under a demonic attack. So in the name of Jesus, oh, he says it's real. Yeah, it's real, Alex. Fire of God all over your body. Fire of God all over your body. Send and fire your way, Tiffany. Come on, cuz. And my Aunt Bebe, Agnes Bebe, Jones Moody, child. Come on, let that fire of God into you right now. Fire of God into you right now. Come on here. Max Johnston's daughter. Come on here. Fire into you right now. Your body. Your body from head to toe. Operating on all cylinders, your body from head to toe with no sickness in it, no disease in it, your body from head to toe, no lameness, no haltness in it, no paralysis in it, no infection in your body right now. Burn out all infection into your lungs, fire to burn out all breathing difficulties in your respiratory system, fire, illable, shillable, fire right now into your nasal passage that you can breathe. Fire in the name of Jesus. Come on, Tiffany. In the name of, come on, cuz. In the name of Jesus. Fire into your heart. I just saw a young man. We just lost someone who died of a heart attack at the age of 46. She was a powerful woman of God. Evangelist Beverly Threat. Evangelist Beverly Threat died at the age of 46. A demon murdered her with a heart attack. And she was a woman of God. And, and hold on for a minute. I got something to tell you. I just saw an athlete. This week with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Can't remember his name, but he's a defensive back. His daddy 
went to jail for selling dope. When he was 15 years old, his daddy went to prison. So that only leaves mama. That only leaves mama to take care of three boys all under the age of 18 and mama got to raise them up. Guess what? Mama was raising these boys. Mama was going to all the games. Mama had them, those boys in order, kept them out of the street. Mama worked hard. And at the age of 43, mama died of a heart attack. Daddy in prison, mama died of a heart attack. That's a curse. That's a generational curse against that family. So the young teenager, the young boy in college had to raise his two young brothers be a daddy and a mama. That's, that right there goes against creation. That goes against the plans of God. That goes against everything God stands for. Send the fire to my son, Devin. The demons are on him. Devin, we send the fire to Devin right now. I love Devin with his little handsome self. I'm sending fire to Devin right now. Fire on you, Devin. Fire on you right now, cousin, in the name of Jesus. So, so, so look now, we got all our children under attack. It's not just us. It's not just us, but, but listen to me. We got demons trying to slow our children down, not grandchildren down. We got demons messing with their mind. They ain't going to tell you. They're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you they got funky thoughts. They're not going to tell you they got crazy thoughts. They're not going to tell you that they got crazy stuff going on in their mind, in their emotions, in their feelings. They, they keep it to themselves. Alex Rubio, many years ago, I had been under attack by a black magic witch in New York City. Trust me, it's real. See there? A black magic woman in New York City. Listen to me. My aunt was under attack by a black magic woman in Washington, D.C. It's real. I ain't know nothing there. My, my aunt Fela, Haley King, my mama's sister, was under attack by a witch in her building in Northwest Washington, D.C. And it jacked her up. It jacked my aunt up for it until she died. Come on, somebody. I'm so, so full of God, the devil couldn't touch me. They jumped in my kids. Well, that's it. That's it. A devil is used to going to, they can't get to the soldier. If they can't get to the warrior, if they can't get to the disciple, they're going to go to the next thing to us, our heart. You know what our heart means. I don't mean your physical heart. I mean your heart, your children. Your mama, your daddy, your grandchildren, your siblings. Fire of God right now on all of our family right now to, de to, to, to destroy witchcraft, voodoo, demonic power against them in the name of Jesus. I lose the power of God right now all over our house. And house, I don't mean your four walls. You know what I mean by house, your tribe. Someone told me I had a black magic spell on me. I got prayed off of me. Let me tell you something right now. Cuz, I know that I'm one of the baddest dudes in the world. When it comes to spiritual warfare, I'm one of the baddest dudes on earth. God made me like that. They don't call me a spiritual gunslinger for nothing. People don't fly me all over the country to come to their house and get demons out of their house for nothing. Let me tell you something right now. Every witch in the world has tried me. And couldn't get me. Don't you understand that? I had a witch fly all the way here from, from Maine. From Maine. Flew here and spent a whole week trying to curse me for a whole week and couldn't do it. Flew here from Maine. Trying to pretend she wasn't a witch. I discerned as soon as she walked through the door. And she touched me. My people weren't supposed to allow her to touch me, but she touched me and still couldn't get me. You understand me? Why? Because he that's in me is greater. They can't kill me. Which is pausing me at a, at, a, at a church one time. Which is pausing me with enough pausing to kill 10 horses. They put pausing in my drink as I sat at the VIP table with the bishop of that particular church. He didn't know there was witches. God told me. They pausing me. And God told me if he had been a normal man with no power, I would have died that same night. Oh, it was very painful. Supernatural, it went through my body in slow motion, but I'm alive today. Because the Bible came alive in Mark 16. It came alive, 17, 18. It came alive. It came alive. They had me to drink poison and it still didn't kill me. You understand me? 
So I know about that. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. They give you any pausing. You will not die. They try to put a spell on you. Voodoo, I don't care where they are. In the name of Jesus, I send fire to energize your body right now. Now get this. Are you ready for this? God told me to give you all this right now. I have Psalm 18. I have Psalm 18. I got Psalm 18. This is what he told me to give you. Soldiers, this is real. Let me tell you something right now. In my spirit, I know there's something wrong out here. Oh, I'm thankful for my blood family. I love you, cuz. I love you too, Tiffany. Let me tell you something right now. For the past uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today is Thursday. For four days now, plus in the last three days, I have not felt right in my spirit. Come on. Come on, Perlene. I have not felt right in my spirit. And God was letting me know that's because there are a lot of breaches. There are a lot of open doors into the kingdom of God in the earth right now. And a lot of kingdom of God people are suffering and, and should not be suffering. In many, many ways, they're suffering financially. They're suffering in relationships. They're suffering in ministry. They're suffering physically and definitely suffering mentally and most of all spiritually. So, so, so something had not been right in my spirit for and I woke up with the same thing. God said, because the battle is not over yet. He says, Satan is fighting back. But there's something in my spirit that's not settling right. I'm usually, a, I'm usually level. I'm usually high in the spirit. I'm usually floating every day, every day. I'm usually, I'm usually joyous. I'm usually way up in the heavenly heavens. But but over well, the past four days, I haven't been there. You know why? Because my spirit is grieving for the people of God. My spirit is grieved because I'm seeing and witnessing all of this death and destruction and calamity. I'm witnessing all this failure. I'm I'm witnessing all of this mayhem and, and, and I'm witnessing all these, these, these people murdering themselves and I'm witnessing all these families getting burned out of their homes, all these, these men killing their girlfriends and their wives. I'm witnessing all, uh, churches just preaching about money. I'm just witnessing just churches just com uh, 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 compromising with the world and, and, and refusing to lay hands on the sick, refusing to cast out demons. And I'm seeing these false prophets prophesying houses and homes for a few dollars more. There's all kinds of stuff going on in the earth. And I'm seeing all these chemotherapy people, young children with all their hair gone. And a woman this week with all her hair gone from chemo. And because they got her house taken too. You're on chemo, radiation, and you lost all your beautiful hair and you get your house taken. Uh, and I'm grieving in my spirit right now. I don't like it. So guess what? I'm not going to just sit back. And say, man, oh man, I'm not going to sit back. No, 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 no. I come to the battlefield. I say, Lord, here am I. Send me, Lord. Who would go for us? Who would go for us? Come on, soldiers. It's us. It's us. We are remnant in there. I'm not going to just sit back. And God told me that, that everything we do and say is working. Don't you ever think warfare is not working? Uh, and I'm going to tell you something right now. We are triumphing over them. We are winning. We are killing. We are pulling down strongholds. We are breaking curses. We are destroying witchcraft power. We're getting people saved. We're getting people healed. We're getting people delivered. You better understand me. Call those things which be not as though they were. Anything that you ask my father in my name, you shall have it. So I know what we're doing. Thank you. I keep it real. So here we go. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Come on, Luana. Send me, Lord. I'm tired of these demonic dogs. And that's what I call them a lot of times at church, Luana. I call them low down, dirty dogs. Larry Davis said, preach. I have my co-worker watching. I told her about you. Thank you, Tiffany. Now get this. Are you ready? This is going to bless us real good. He took me to Psalm 18. This is why the devil can't touch us. Get this. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. I will love thee. Oh God, oh God, I will love thee, oh God. You love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. He is your strength. Your money is not your strength. If your money was your strength, the Jamaican brother who owned 120 stores up in the Bronx, New York, with 20 in the Bronx, who owned the delicious Jamaican 
Spicy Patty, if he hadn't blown his own brains out, why? He had millions of dollars. He had a wife and four kids. He still killed himself. So his money wasn't his strength. University of Maryland, the business school is named after a billionaire. The business school at University of Maryland was named after a man who owned mega media outlets. Mega media outlets. And they named the school after him. Well, guess what? He tied an anchor around his legs and jumped off his yacht and killed himself. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock. Come on, preachers, y'all need this. Come on here. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. Demons can't get to you because God is your fortress. He, we're in the fort of hallelujah. We're in the fort of praise and worship. We're in a fort that's covered with the blood, the blood of Christ. My walls are covered with the blood of Jesus. Every witch better know it. Every disease better know it. Every pill better know. You heard me. Every pharmaceutical pill better recognize. Those are spirits. Every cancer better recognize. Every diabetes better recognize. Every, every kidney failure. Every, every mental suicide thought better recognize. Every poverty, every poor devil better recognize. Every debt demon better recognize. Every blind devil better recognize. Every voodoo, witchcraft, hoodoo. Better recognize. Every God hater. Every antichrist spirit better recognize. He is my fortress and my deliverer. He's your deliverer. He, come on, Lord God, right now by fire, deliver Every one of your soldiers, deliver us out of every trap. <laughs> deliver us by fire right now out of every snare. <laughs> deliver us out of every lie. <laughs> deliver us out of every temptation. <laughs> deliver us out of every prison. <laughs> whether it be mental, <laughs> whether it be physical, <laughs> whether it be spiritually, <laughs> whether it be financially. Deliver us, Lord God, right now, Lord. Hey, la bobo, say ta ba ba ba. We see to look who say la bobo. We will deliver us from every captivity. Hey, la bobo, ko say la bosha. Even if we don't know we in captivity yet. Hey, la bobo, ko say la bosha. Hey, kasaba, deliver us from all sickness, all disease. Hey, la bobo, ko say la bobo, say ta ba ba. He's our deliverer. Deliver us from evil. Thank you, Mr. Brian. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, got this, deliver us from the evil one, Satan himself. My strength, my God, my strength in whom I will trust. I don't care what it look like, trust him. I told someone yesterday, they said, I feel like giving up. I got a text yesterday. And they said, I feel like giving up. And I called them back. I said, you're not going to give up. I know you got a lot of issues. You got a lot of things on you. And you feel like nobody understands. Nobody to help you. You're all by yourself. And I said, the devil, I said, but you got to live for your children now. I know you young, but it's not just you. Now it's you and your babies. Satan's trying to destroy you to get to your babies. He's trying to destroy you. He wants you to feel pitiful, po po pitiful me. Now, no matter what you see with your eyes, no matter what with your five senses you hear, let me tell you, Satan has stacked the deck against you. He wants you to see defeat when you get ready to get a victory. He wants you to see a loss when you get ready to win. He wants you to see hopelessness and helplessness when you get ready to go higher and be successful. He wants you to see sickness and no healing when you get ready to get healed. He wants you to see everything negative when God got you coming right now with a positive. He's a liar and deceiver. And we crush that demon right now. No one's giving up. No one's giving in. I fight no one. No one. The kingdom of heaven. We win. Come on to one hope. 
Come on, evangelist to want to hope. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said this, in whom I will trust my buckler. You know what a buckler is? My buckler. Let me tell you what a buckler is. You come near me, devil. You come anywhere near my children. I'm talking for all of us. You come anywhere near my money. You come anywhere near my body. You come anywhere near my ministry. You come anywhere near my bloodline. Guess what? You're going to get bucked by the power of God. He's going to buck you. And when he buck you, it ain't going to be pretty. You're going to suffer the pain. He's my buckler. Oh my God, my God, the battle ain't mine no way. The battle isn't yours anyway. He said, the battle is the Lord's. My God, my God. And not only that, he said, and the horn of my salvation. He is, and my high tower. My high tower. I'm going to get you out of low cotton right now. If you're in a low place, you get ready to go into a high tower this very second. Get ready. Come on. Get ready. You get ready to go into a high tower. If you're in a low self-esteem, if you're in low money, low finances, if you're in low health, if you're in low, in low self-esteem, if you're in low personality, if you're in low income, if you're in low, 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 lowness, lowness of heart, if you are in lowness of spirit, you get ready to go up at this very second. Get ready. Because when I shoot this blast from this word, God told me he's going to blast you to this high tower. He's our high tower. He ain't going to leave you out of the highness. He don't want you to be out of the highness. He's not going to leave you low. God is not a low God. He's a high God. He looks low and he comes low, but he takes us higher. Are you ready? Are you ready right now? In the name of Jesus, I'm going to take this word out the Bible. My God, my God. The word that I speak in you, their spirit and life. Uh, it's the word that quickened it. It's the word that quickened it. My God, my God, spirit and life. My God, I'm going to throw this word to you on Periscope. I'm going to throw this word to you on Facebook. I'm going to throw it into me. I'm going to throw it all over the world for the children of God. And right now, you getting ready to go up into a high tower. And when you get up in a high tower, everything changes. Things are more beautiful. Things are more peaceful. Things are more joyful. When you go up in a high tower, you're richer. You're healthier. You got more energy. When you go up into a high tower, you're curse free. You're demonic free. When you go up into a high tower, you can think better. You can think clearer. When you go up in a high tower, you don't want to kill yourself. You want to live and declare the works of the Lord. When you go up in a high tower, my God, all doubts leave. Now you believe and receive. Are you ready? Let's go. Bam! I'm in a high tower, a sanctified tower, a consecrated tower. Woof. I feel it. I feel it. My God. Where's the throw I receive? Ooh, glory. Yeah, who said that? Ooh, who said God is so faithful? Glory. I received that word. Woo, Kanee. Woo, feel that thing. I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. Pastor Lorraine Jenkins will. Amen. I'm so thankful. Woo. I'm, I'm Alex. Thank you, brother. Woo, I'm thankful. I got it. Woo. Jesus. Woo, Jesus. Come on, Lisa Pope. With all those hearts. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful. Peace in the tower. That's it. Peace in the tower. Devil can't take you low. Peace in the tower. God is an on time God. Thank you, Lance. He is. I feel it. Guess how on time he is. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. He's an on time God. Fire. Fire God. Every word that came out of my tongue was by fire. Every word that came out of my tongue was by fire. Every word that came out of my tongue was fire. Every word was fire. 
Fire for you. Fire for your holiday. Fire. Faith the size of a mother seed. Fire. 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 No premature deaths in your family. Fire. Fire. No premature death. No premature death. It says the sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or the arrows that fly at noon that you would not, you would not be afraid. All fear gone out of you. You're in a high tower now. There's no fear in a high tower of God. He's your high tower. There's no fear there. Stop fearing. Fearing that they're going to take everything, your house, your car, your, uh, your spouse, your whatever. Stop fearing. Let me tell you something how blessed you are. Larry Wallace, the talk of Baltimore, just had a couple, young couple with a baby boy got burned out. They didn't have nothing left. Nothing, no money, no nothing. I thought about them this morning. I said, how blessed I am. Let me tell you something about those people in, in, in California that's burning. I don't, I don't know if you recognize, but the, burning, but the burning of California is spiritual. It's spiritual first. Psalm 91, that's right. That's right. Let me tell you something right now. The fire in Los Angeles is totally demonic. You better hear me. How do you know that, Pastor? Because it's, it's, it's strange fire. It's called strange fire in the Bible. So let me tell you something about strange fire. It's the enemy of God. God hates strange fire so bad that he killed two preachers. Over strange fire. Aaron's two boys. Strange fire comes from hell. It's from demons. See, when God sent a fire, it's to bless us. The only killing that it does is spiritual demons from pit of hell. Fire comes to heal us, deliver us, keep us, ignite us to do more for the Lord. But when fire comes to destroy property, kill people, it comes from hell. Now get this. I'm going to tell you something right now. Are you ready for this? If you haven't seen it yet, I want you to see it. Look at the fire burning in San Fernando Valley and you will see demon faces all in the fire. I saw them. No, I don't smoke dope. I don't drink liquor. And I'm not crazy. Oh, I'm crazy for the Lord. But if you look at the fire, you will see faces in the fire. I saw a whole face, two eyes, mouth and ears in the fire and it was a demon I've seen several faces in the fire I believe you oh I believe that look at the fire now listen I'm going to teach you something I'm going to teach you how to ask the Lord to increase your supernatural eyesight to, to increase your spiritual vision okay okay now if you look in that fire you will see demonic faces in the fire now get this people who are describing the fire are describing demons and they don't even know it for instance one man said the fire is raging it one fire says it's like it has a mind of its own and this is coming from the reporters and the fire said it looks like the fire has a mind of its own he don't even know that what he said was true it does have a mind of its own it has a demonic mind from hell. Now, hold on now. Somebody even said this. No amount of water can put him out. Satan ain't afraid of no water. This is not a natural fire. They was putting water. They said the firemen said that they were wasting their time in, in one area that no amount of fire could put it out. It couldn't. It's a demonic fire. It's a strange fire. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not finished. If you've got one house that said cost $19 million, can you know, can you understand what a $19 million house looks like? It's a castle. Many houses around the $19 million houses are going to all be million dollar homes. You're not going to have a $19 million home around and some other houses around for $300,000. No, you got a $19 million home, you got other million dollar homes. They say all the homes are millionaires, but hold on. Strange fire. If in those million dollar homes, if there is no Jesus, in those million dollar home, if there are antichrist spirits living there, if there are people who are worshiping false gods, uh, doctrines of demons, 
they have an antichrist spirit and they don't believe that Jesus is the son of God and they live in them, those homes. Well, they didn't receive those homes from God. Those blessings came from Satan himself. And if they are not tithing unto the churches of God and they didn't pay tithes on all those millions and if they call on another God, or they call on no God. Some of them are, are, are new age people in those million dollar homes. They're in computers. They're in uh, 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 all types of computers. And they got all types of, of businesses. And they don't believe in any God at all. They have an intellectual God themselves. Well, guess what? Satan is burning down homes that he gave them himself. Because he hates his own children. He will destroy his own. He don't give a hoot about who serves him because sooner or later he's going to kill, steal, and destroy you after he's used you up. But guess what he's trying to do? He's trying to put fear into the saints by us seeing all this fire, all these lands burning up. Don't you fear. When I saw that film of people riding on the highway and the fire blazing on the whole and in slow motion cars going around the highway, fire coming down. That's to put fear in God's children. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Yeah, he's an Indian giver. Uh, we know what that means. But let me tell you right now. Strange fire is real. Now, now, if you want to help those people, we first got to send fire for their salvation to get people saved, to get people saved. That's the first thing we got to do right now. We're going to send fire in L.A., a fire of salvation to get them saved. After the fire to, to save them, they want to send fire to shut down the strange fire demon. That's how we're going to help them. See, see, I mean, you got the natural firemen who's having trouble, even in the airplanes, dropping stuff on the fire, not doing any good. Understand me. They've lost like $27,000, I mean, 27,000 families are running for their lives. Homes gone. Listen to me, y'all. Women, men, women, and children are there and they're hurting. You got little babies. This is very traumatic. They lose everything they own. So here we come. We love these people. I don't care who they are, what they're doing. God loves the people. He loves the sinner man, but he hates the sin. I love the sinner. I love you. If you're not with Jesus, I'm going to love you all the way into his arms. But I'm going to war against every demon that's got you outside of the grace of God. So come on with me, y'all. Let's go right now. Let's war for the salvation of all those people in the fire in L.A. Let's war for everyone in L.A. that's affected by the fires to get saved. Y'all ready? Hold on. I want to send out a fire first. I want to send out a fire. I want to send out a fire first. Oh, I got it. Oh, God just sent. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. Lord, more than rest of. Oh, hold on. Hold on, y'all. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Do I have it? Hold on. Hold on. I might have to turn to it in my Bible. Oh, I got it. Or do I have it? Uh oh. I'm going to turn to it. I'm going to turn to it. Joshua, Joshua 8 8. I'm going to turn to it real quick. Joshua 8 8. I'm going to turn to it real quick. This is for Los Angeles. This is for Los Angeles. This is for Los Angeles. Joshua 8-8. This is for Los Angeles. Let's go. This is for 8-8. Joshua 8-8. This is for Los Angeles. Joshua 8-8. Oh, God. 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 Oh, People who've lost everything by fire. We got to send this to save them. Then we're going to send fire to shut that strange fire down. We're firemen too. You're fire women and fire men too. But guess what? The difference between us and the firemen that's out there, 34, over almost 4,000 firemen can't put the fire out. Guess what? We're supernatural firemen. We're supernatural power from God. Who's working supernatural signs and wonders in this natural world. That natural fire, that, that demon fire in a natural world, we're going to take care of in a second. Let's take care of the people first. Here it is, Joshua 8, 8. And it shall be, uh-oh, and it shall be, 
Uh-oh, and it shall be. The number of eight is new beginnings. They're going to get saved out there. New beginnings. And they're going to get new houses. And they're going to go to church. They're going to serve God. And they're going to tithe on those millions. And they're going to worship Jesus. They're going to they gonna know that Jesus is Lord. And his blood saved them. Are y'all ready? Joshua 8, 8. And it shall be when ye have taken the city. We can ready to take the city. <laughs> That ye shall set the city on fire. Oh God. Oh God. You tell me this ain't an on time word. God Almighty. According to the commandment of the Lord, shall ye do. He's commanding us to do it. I have commanded you. Ooh, wow. Hey, ooh, Lord, call my cousin in California. Huh, your cousin and your cousins and your cousin. Everybody get ready to get covered with this, including your cousin. Oh, my God. This is for California. This is for every acre. Oh, my God. Joshua 8, 8. And it shall be every land that's fired burning wild. That's right, Mr. Brian Benjamin. Every land where strange fire burning, burning people out of house and home. And it shall be when ye have taken the city. Y'all ready to take the city? Y'all ready to take the city? That ye shall set the city on fire. Y'all ready to set the city on the real fire? According to the commandment of the Lord. His commanded us. According to the commandment of the Lord shall ye do. Shall ye do. We got to do it. We got no choice. We got no choice. We got to do it. I have commanded you. That's all I needed to know. This fire right now. Ready Pastor Lorraine Jenkins Wilkes? This is for the people. This is for the people to get saved. Let's set fire to the city. Let's take the city for Jesus. Fire of God right now. All over, all over California. El Ababoko se la baboseta. El Ababoko se la baboseta. El Ababoko se la babose. 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 Fire right now all over the land to save them. Fire for salvation. Fire for peace. Fire for Jesus. Fire for them to, 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 to surrender to the Lord. Fire them to, to, to confess that Jesus is Lord. Fire them to believe that Jesus died on the cross, that Jesus was sent, that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus died on the cross, that Jesus rose on the third day, and Jesus went to hell, took the keys from Satan for them to live, and he's on the right hand of the Lord right now, interceding for them. Fire right now, fire right now for them to get saved. They will confess with their mouth and their tongue. My God, they will speak it. They will come all over that Hollywood, all over Hollywood, all on the media, and say, guess what? I found Jesus. All over the media, all over California, they begin to make movies of Jesus. They begin to make movies like crazy of, of Jesus, salvation, the Lord. They begin to bring back all the things of God. They begin to change the laws in Los Angeles for Jesus. They begin to bring prayer back into the school. They're saved. Los Angeles is saved. All the gangbangers saved. All the gangsters saved. All the harlots and gambling whoredom. All the clubs in L.A. Hold on. God just told me something. I call. I call for a nationwide, a nationwide day of repentance. They're always calling for a nationwide day of prayer. And they come to Washington, D.C., on the uh, grounds of the monument and they pray and nothing changed. You know why? They're only doing 50% of the job. Prayer is important, but you got to pray and war. You can't have one without the other. If you war, you got to pray. If you pray, you got to war. You just can't pray and not war. You just can't war and not pray. When you pray, you're talking to the Lord. When you war, you're talking to the enemy. How dare you not know that and you running a church? How dare you only praying with people and nothing's changing? But let me tell you right now, with, instead of just having a, a day for prayer, a whole nation need to come out. California need to come out. Start it, California. Come out. Come out and tell that fire. You ain't done nothing. You haven't done anything else. We, look, we found Jesus in the midst of your strange fire. Therefore, 
California, we repent of all of our sins. Lord, forgive us. For we knew not what we were doing. Forgive us. We repent. New Orleans, repent of all that witchcraft you're doing. Louisiana, repent of all those years of voodoo you've been doing. Come out the whole state of Louisiana and repent. Haiti, 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 repent of all that voodoo, hoodoo you've been doing for hundreds of years. Renouncing renounce it and denounce Satan voodoo. Come on America we need to call for a whole day not just a prayer but of repentance they're praying with no repentance they ain't gonna work so California save right now now let's kill that strain fire let's shut it down y'all ready to shut that strain fire down now we said fire to kill that strain fire right now by God strain fire cannot stay Strange fire cannot stay. It cannot stay. You 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 cannot stay. Fire of God. Fire of God on the strange fire. Fire your God on it right now. Ella babo kushila babusha. Ella babo shaba babusha babusha. Ah, mercy, mercy, Father, shut down the fire. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for He is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good because His mercy endured forever. Fire, mercy, fire, fire, grace, fire, salvation, fire. Kill that fire, Lord God, that it can't burn no more in the name of Jesus. It can't burn no more. Let Israel now say that His mercy endured forever. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Fire, Jerusalem, fire, Zion, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God. Have mercy, Lord, mercy. Destroy that fire. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endure it forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. Come on, California. Call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Come on. That's Psalm 118. There's another eight involved. Uh, come on, somebody. I gave you Psalm 18. That's 118. There's new beginnings. The Lord is on my side. The Lord is on our side. The Lord is on my side. Can't no demon kill you when the Lord is on your side. Can't no demon keep Keep, keep putting sickness in your body long as on your side. You're not going to die of cancer. You're not going to stay on that dialysis machine. You're not going to get your toes, feet, legs cut off from diabetes. You're not going to keep shooting insulin in you. You're not going to keep being a, a, a dimension, not knowing your own name. You're not going to have no Alzheimer's. The Lord, the Lord is on your side. You're not going to be poor, 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 poor. You're not going to be kicked out. You're not going to be evicted. You're not going to be uh, uh, walking and you should be driving. You're not going to be ready to commit suicide. You're not going to be on dope. You're not going to be smoking crack. You're not going to be smoking dope. You're not going to be smoking hash. You're not going to be shooting up heroin in your arm, uh, uh, falling out, passing out in front of your own children, driving in a car, passing out heroin in you. You're not going to be on opiates. You're not going to be in pain. You're not going to be addicted to opiates. No, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Nothing. I'm done. I'm done. Done for the day. 911. <laughs> Nothing more to say after that. Thank you, Mr. Brown. It's not. <laughs> Nothing more to say after that. <laughs> I'm done. 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 Summed it up. The joy of the Lord. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. As you go, preach. Fall like rain. That fire fall like rain right now all over California. That's the real, that's the real water. Fall like rain. Hear that thunder in the back? It's raining. It's raining fire on, on California. Their fire gonna be wiped out. And they're gonna, they gonna wonder what happened. 
Wipe off the battle axe. That's right. You wipe it off. <laughs> right, good knees. Wipe it off. <laughs> A lot of the enemy's blood is on it. <laughs> wipe it off. A lot of filth got on it. Wipe it off. Man of God, continue to be blessed. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I want to close out every time we come on here with this. Lift up your heads, <laughs> O ye gates. <laughs> Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. <laughs> and the King of glory shall come in. <laughs> Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. God bless y'all. If you want to donate. Oh, Marita. Y'all, Marita. Marita sold a seed. Got it, Marita, on Periscope. She sold a seed yesterday. She went on the, she went on the website right here, and she hit the donate button. Sister Marita, Sister Torres, thank you for sowing into our ministry, woman of God. Yesterday, thank you, Lorraine. Pastor Lorraine, holy laughter is awesome, isn't it? I love it because that's what I have right now. 911, that's right. 911, <laughs> you want to sew? Go on, Angelo O. Jones, hit the donate button like Marilla did yesterday. Day before yesterday, <laughs> just hit it. PayPal will take care of me. You want to mail it? Send it to Heaven's Best. 8311 Old Branch Avenue, Clinton, Maryland, 20735. 8311 Old Branch Avenue, Clinton, Maryland, 20735. But if you want to email me, Pastor Angelo O. Jones at gmail.com. Or if you want to call, if not on the computer, blah, blah, you want to call, call us at 301 877. 301 877 7702. Look at all those sevens. 301 877. 7702. Love y'all. Keep fighting. Tomorrow's GFF. I don't know what he got for us, but he'll let me know. Good Fire Friday is tomorrow. So get ready for God's fresh fire tomorrow. We'll be warned. I feel so good right now. But God will reveal to me if there's more fighting right now. If he's going to give us rest from this battle, he'll let me know. I love y'all. In whose name? No other name. Ela babose ta baba. Visito lo cose la babose. Fire. Fire. Ela babose ta baba. Ela babose ta baba. Ela kaseta.